Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a horizontal dragging layer that attaches and anchors to uh, whatever element is being viewed. Uh, think of apps like Instagram, I think Instagram does it, uh, or a lot of calendar apps where they have this scrollable container somewhere on the screen and if you, instead of having a free drag where you can let go and it'll stop with part of the element off the screen, it'll reposition itself so that it's constantly showing uh, and, and uninterrupted. I've gotten a couple requests for this and it's complicated, or it's complicated to figure out, but it's not complicated to build. And I built a guide to kind of help uh, ease the process and I'll show you that. Uh, but let's get started. First things first, we're going to place in our layers. I'm building this on an iPhone 5S, uh, the 5 canvas size. That's what you're going to want to build this on, and that's important since we're going to be referencing a lot of pixel points. So make sure that you're on the 5. And if you didn't already, you can download the asset pack from the link in the description. It'll take you to my website. And within there, you'll find the asset pack, but you're also going to find the sketch file. And in the sketch file is the little guide that we're going to be using to figure out where we need to uh, place or what, what we need to reference for this stuff. Um, if you don't have Sketch, uh, I recommend you get it. It's really good for, des for designing uh, interfaces and for your apps and whatever. Um, if you're building this in Photoshop or, or you use Photoshop and don't have Sketch, you can just rebuild the, the guide that I'll be showing you. It's not hard, but I do recommend that you get Sketch. Okay, so now that we've got that, and we've got the assets in here, first I'm going to place the main page, which is completely solid. We're not doing anything else with this. And this is a, a photo app. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's commonly used as interactions like this, so that's what we're going to be using. And then we're going to place the filters layer in here. We'll just place this on the bottom left corner, just like that. And let's come in here, back to our Layers panel, and we're going to rename Filters to just Filters, not Filters PNG. Just remove that file extension. And that's going to make it easier when we uh, call out our Layer ID later. So after we've got that, let's add a drag interaction to this. We're not going to do a scroll. We're not going to do the free scroll. Uh, because I, I've tried many times to figure out and see if I can get it to work. I can't with just the standard scroll. So we're going to use the drag interaction for this. We'll set this to horizontal. And for the minimum position, we will turn the um, reference edge to the right, and we'll say 320. In the max position, left is going to be 0. And we're just going to let, let this stretch, well, let's say 2, past its min and max. So now I'm able to free drag this along. I can pull it and it's, it's just fine. Now it's not catching. So we're going to build that next. Now, it's a lot of repetition to, to make this work, but it's not all that complicated. What we're going to be doing is using a bunch of move animations, like 10 or 11, and we're going to be using conditions and calling out certain active points to tell it if it's... Uh, less than one point and less than another point move to this point. So first we'll just add one move animation. These are all going to be based off of filters, drag, release. Make sure it's not drag, start. And we'll come into sketch and look. So I've got this guide in here. Now I've got all the filters laid out and then I have it mirrored with certain points laid out on the screen. The way we're going to be doing this is saying if, uh, if it's less than one point and less than another point, we're going to move to this point. And what we're going to be doing to make this easy is we're going to be able to take this guide and drag it along so we can reference uh, each number that we need to do. So we'll just be putting it over each of these filters and that'll, uh, that'll let us know exactly where we need to be. So for this first one, Let's get this in position. 
So we're going to say if it's less than 0 and less than negative 45. So we'll come up here, we'll grab our layer ID, it's just filters. It'll be dot x to reference the left edge. We'll say if it's less than 0, we'll type and. Then we'll place the layer ID again, dot x, and less than negative 45. We're going to move it to negative 90. So now that that's up, if I drag it so it's past 45, it automatically moves over. And we're going to be doing that for every single one of these. So let's drag another move. Based on filters and drag release. Come back over into sketch and I'm just holding shift in the left arrow and moving this over. So now I know if it's less than negative 90 and negative 35, we'll move this to negative 80. So I'll come up here. I'm going to copy this so we can just paste it in here and replace the values. Let's change this so if it's negative 90 and negative 135, move this to negative 80 or 180. So now I move that one that moves. If I move it over here, it goes across. And then I'm able to, so if I move it back, if I haven't passed this other point that we referenced, this negative 90 or uh, negative 45, it'll stay here. But then if I go over here, then it'll move back in. Okay. So for this next one, negative 180 and negative 225. So I'm gonna let's copy this one right here since this has the negative. These are all negatives, and it'll it'll be easier if we copy this this second one and paste this throughout and change those values. Okay, so we'll paste this in. We'll just change this so negative one eighty, negative two twenty five. And where are we moving this? To negative 270. All right, let's do the next one. All right, so negative 270, negative 315 to negative 360. We'll do the next one. Negative 360, negative 405, and negative 450. And we'll just come in and check and make sure that these are working. Cool. Yep. Well, let's see, 360, 405, 450. All right, let's do the other ones. Let's see this one. Oops. So 
a negative 450, negative 495, and negative 540. So we have 450, negative 495, negative 540. Is that right? Yep. So these are all in 45 point increments. Get this, add another one. This is negative, let's see if we can do this. Negative 540, negative 585. And we're gonna move it to negative 630. Add another one. Just a few more. So this is going to go from negative, if it's between negative 630 and negative 675. We're going to move this to negative 720. Add another one. All right, so if we're between negative 70, or 7, sorry, 720, and negative 7. 65, we're going to move to negative 810. All right, for this next one. If we're between negative 810, let's paste this in. Negative 810 and negative 855. We're going to go to negative 900. And then for the last one, we'll add this in here. If we're between negative 900. negative 945 we're going to move this to negative 990 All right yeah okay so now we've got all these in here and these should work smoothly we've got an error here between Jovian and an Ariel let's figure that out one sec make sure the rest of these are good Yep, we're at the end of it, so we can go back. Cool. And this is still free draggable, so you can do this, and then just wherever you let go, it's gonna it's gonna automatically reset or set itself. Okay, so let's go back to Jovian and Ariel and see where what's going on here. Just make sure it's 360, 405, and 450. Let's see if we can find it here. Okay, 360 and 405. So maybe it's Jovian is the problem. 270 and 315. Ah, here we go. So I did 355. There. So 270, 315, and it should take us to 360. Now these should all these should all work. So to clarify what this is doing, what I've done in, in order to make this guide is each, each of these filters is built in a section that is um, 180 pixels uh, wide. Or, I'm sorry, 90. For on the phone, it's 90. So I'm saying that if I'm anywhere between this halfway point 
then it will move to finish the completion between the, these two points right here. So if you're doing this and you want to build it similarly, like you can change the position between uh, here and here to, to whatever you want. But just keep, it's easier if you do it halfway, at least I found, at least for this, uh, to do it more, most simply. So you can move this to wherever. But I'm just saying, if I'm between this point, minimum point, and this max point right here, then I'm going to complete this move to here. And then it'll automatically do it back uh, the other way, since between here and here, we'll move to here. It's kind of nice the way it does it. Um, and this is kind of a hack. I'm sure that in the future, Pixate will make it so that you can, if you have individual pieces in a scroll layer, that it'll automatically catch. But for now, this is the way that we have to do it. So just to make these uh, a little bit better looking, they're all on a linear curve and it's, it's kind of choppy. Let's just make these into a spring animation. All of these. So I'm going to do spring with a tension of 100. We'll just go through and do this with every one of these. Oops, that's a little far. There we go. All right, and this last one. So now this should be a little bit smoother. I don't think it reset, so let's restart this. There we go. Yeah, so now it's a little, just a little smoother, not so rapid. It's a little flowier, that's how we like that. All right. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful for you guys. Uh, I built this because of a request that somebody sent me. If you have something that you can't figure out and or have a tutorial that you'd like to see, feel free to reach out to me, send me an email from my website, or you can comment uh, below or somewhere. I read it all, so reach out to me, and if it's something that I think I can do a tutorial on, I'm happy to do it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.